What do you know, it hasn't been long. I have another story, let's go. When I was in the ninth grade, me and my classmates went on a mission trip to New Orleans. When we were in New Orleans, we decided to give food to the poor, we decided to help out a food bank, and it was just a lot of fun, and it was a lot of work to do. Now, one of the days we had sort of a chill or free day to, you know, do whatever we wanted, and our house was literally a hundred meters from the Mississippi River. So we decided how cool would it be if we were to throw a football on the Mississippi River, or at least along it. So that's exactly what we did. The girls brought their volleyball, the guys brought their football, and it was just a lot of fun. Now everything's all fine and dandy until the volleyball fell into the Mississippi River. Yeah, it was no biggie, you know, it was only two feet out, so, you know, someone could have easily grabbed it, and there was, you know, someone right there. But they decided that they didn't want to get their shoes wet, so they just let it float out into the middle of the river. Not the middle, but very far out. And everyone's just yelling at them like, why would you do that? It's right there. So the volleyball was now floating out to the Mississippi River, maybe not being able to be seen or used again. Now, many months prior to this event, I made a bet with a girl. I said, if she watched a full season of an anime that I chose, then I would have to buy her a cup of Starbucks. And it turns out she won the bet. Never bribe a white girl with Starbucks if you want her to lose. So, going back to this current event, the volleyball was that girl's. So, she just turned to me and she said, Cameron, if you swim out to the Mississippi River right now and get my volleyball, then you won't have to pay me Starbucks. So in my head, there were two thoughts that were running. The first thought was, it's not safe at all to run out there and get that volleyball, Cameron. You could risk your life. But the second thought was, dude, Starbucks is so expensive. So I decided, why the heck not? I'll just swim out there and get it. So I was taking off my shirt and then I realized there are girls here, so I couldn't do that. And then I started to take off my shoes. When I started taking off my shoes, the coach that was with us said, Cameron, no, don't take off your shoes. Just swim out there and get it. He explained to me how there was a bunch of trash and glass in the river and he just didn't want me to cut my feet. Plus, I had jeans on, which is like the worst thing to have on when you're swimming. So I waded into the water and then I swam out. The first 10 seconds, I was like, all right, this is all good. I'm going to do fine. This is all good. And then about five seconds after that, I was thinking, oh God, I'm going to die. I was so exhausted. It was just so difficult to swim in jeans and a shirt with shoes on. Plus the water tasted really nasty. I finally reached the ball and I grabbed it and I just held it above my head because I didn't want it to go anywhere. When I looked back to the shore, I was about 50 feet out and I was already wet. Man, I was just so tired. So I just thought, crap, so much work. So as I was swimming back, everyone on the shore screamed at me, Cameron, get back on the land! And my immediate reaction was, what does it look like I'm doing? So about after a minute of pure agony, I finally reached the shore. And my first words were, why were you guys screaming at me? They just leaned in and said, Cameron, there was something in the water. We saw two eyes pop out of the water and they were really close to you. It looked like an alligator or a crocodile or something. So it turns out that I almost risked my life to get this girl her volleyball back. I didn't almost die from drowning, I almost died from being mauled or massacred. So the rest of the trip was uh, interesting. Uh, our counselor was not happy at all. She thought it was pretty impressive how I swam out into the middle of the Mississippi, but she was still pretty mad that I almost risked my life. And was it worth it? I mean, I didn't have to pay for Starbucks, so I'd say so. All right, guys, it's summer, so I'm hoping that I can make more videos for you this summer. I will see you later.